What is going on, everyone? Thank you for joining me on this reaction journey. Today is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, episode 21. Last time we left off, JoJo and crew beat the baby stand user, and now they're going to recruit someone who's supposed to be very important for this mission, so I'm excited to see what we're in for. Let's go! Back in India. <laughs> what? He's stalking. That's the that's the he. Jojo, Jojo, Jojo. He looks serious. That looks like Abdal. Man, he is running. Okay. Michael and Prince. <laughs> Lionel Richie. It's not odd, though. It's a brother of his dad. He does look like him. That can't be him, though. It's the father. Oh, uh, PTSD with this. It's not going to stop him from blaming himself. Interesting. I'm guessing judgment because all these episodes, all these episode titles have been named after the stand. So I'm guessing judgment. Man. He's got a lot of guilt. That's a genie lamp. With a lot of barnacles. Yeah, he's got barnacles all over it. No! Oh, this is cool! It's the, like a genie! Oh, it's a genie! Whoa! Cameo! Oh, wait, I, I don't know. He's just blocking it like it's nothing! Uh-oh. <laughs> don't you all grant you three wishes me! Yeah, I think so. What? Where's the money? Show me the money. Where's the money at? Oh, wait. Is it spilling out of the lamp? Oh, wow. Say what? Bite it. Bite it. See if it's real. It's a genie. Yo, yo, chill out, chill out. <laughs> Stop asking that. What? 
<laughs> Owner of land. I think he was about to grant that wish. What do you want? What wish? <laughs> Chill. Come on. Make up your mind. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. That was smart. Don't ask him. That's, you're supposed to demand that, I guess. You're supposed to tell him what you want. Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's not over yet. No way. Is his sister? Hey, careful, careful, careful. Okay, it's, it's so quiet. What is that sound? Wow. Um. Okay, like she was... Is it really his sister? Okay, maybe it is a trap. It's not complete. What does it mean? It's not complete. Oh. I don't know if this is really... She's, she's saying her body's not complete. Whoa, uh, I don't... Is he... The genie's playing tricks. There's no way he brought her back. Oh, man, he's getting his hopes up. I, I don't know. I'm confused. He loved his sister. I'm confused, because I don't know. Is it really her? Is it a trick? Centerfold. Oh. Um. Are these real tears? Yo, hey, hey, jump here. It's gotta be a trick. It did really happen? Um, man, this is... I don't, I don't know. Okay, why are you crying? Happy. Whoa! Eat you! Ah! Hey, no, no! This sucks. She keeps saying that. No, it's not okay. Oh, he's waiting for the leg. She is fast. Is he doing this? I'm not trusting him. Make, make your sister what? 
No way! No. He can't unmake it? Oh. Oh, what is she eating? You mean what? Ah. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh. Man. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, no, 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 no. He's a returner, but I don't know about this. Say what? When did he say that? No, he didn't say that. Was that in his heart? He, I don't think he verbally said that. Oh, man. He's back. Oh, he clawed him. Oh man, look at his eye. What? This is terrifying. Hey. They're both trying to consume him. Oh, they did. They are tearing. Oh. Oh man, this is, this is messed up. I, I think it's too late for that. This isn't them. I don't think this is them. Oh, what? Hey, wait, 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 wait. It's a... Oh... Oh man, she's buying this. They're like zombies. Oh man. Was Cameo sent by Dio? Is he? Okay, he's not dead. Come on, don't give up. Come on, don't, don't give up. After all, Oh, Whoa! I don't think... Yeah! Is it the dad? What? No, no, how? I don't think... Is this really him? Yes! He died. Only scratch his skin and skull? He's been alive? No way, he's alive. Oh! Wait, wait. He said... He said the third wish. Uh, I'm so confused. Okay, but that's magician's red. Oh. Ooh. 
Is this really him? Oh. Alright, the clay sister is gone. She died. Yeah, he admitted it. She's, she's gone. Oh. Wow. No, 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 I ain't doing this. No. No. No more wishes. No, no more wishes. What's he? Four wishes? <laughs> I guess this is him. <laughs> He's taunting him. Oh. There's four of these? Dude. Oh, choking him. Ah. That was the second wish? Ooh. He's gone. I can't believe the Abdal is really back. He can't breathe. <laughs> 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 A match. <laughs> Oh no, take a piss together. Oh no, they're really doing it. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm like. His personality. <laughs> Oh. The fourth wish. Oh. Ooh. Oh, he's <laughs> he's still alive. Stan named magician's right. So it, it is Abdul. <laughs> so he knew, he knew. He was the only one who didn't know. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> the day after? Oh. He said he suggested that. What? That was him the whole time. Oh, he's hurt. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> a submarine? He bought a submarine. Wow. This is for you. Ah, welcome back, Abdal. All right, so he's alive. That's awesome. All right, that was JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, episodes 21 and 22. Here's some thoughts. The movie that comes to mind is Children of the Corn. The primary reason is that a cornfield is a setting in that movie. And in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the setting seems to be some kind of flower field. 
The chickens being named Michael, Prince, and Lionel, that seems to be a reference to the famous singers, which makes sense to me. I was told a while back about Joseph listening to the Beatles, so it seems like the musical references are continuing. The themes for these two episodes are dealing with guilt, dealing with grief, and being careful what you wish for. There's some foreshadowing with jean Pierre's right eye being blacked out, because a few moments later, we see Sherry's right eye appearing demented like a monster. There's an idiom, kill two birds with one stone, which means to achieve two things by doing a single action. We see two literal birds fly up, and then they were both killed. We see the idiom in action as well when Cameo grants it wishes two and three at the same time. It's an interesting choice having jean Pierre and Sherry be covered in a variety of green colors. It looks like olive greens and lime greens. Note this statement about olive green. Although the traditional color for peace, offering an olive branch, the color olive suggests deceit and treachery, blaming others for its problems. There is deceit and treachery at work with the way Cameo is granting Polner's wishes. The flashback to Sherry and the setting being a clear, beautiful day just reaffirms that Sherry's purity existed when she was alive. The Sherry in this present time is tainted, a fake, distorted. With the Clay Avdol having a monstrous left eye and the Clay Sherry having a monstrous right eye, they seem to make up one whole, that being Jean Pierre's feelings of guilt. This idea is reinforced when Cameo grants wishes two and three at the same time. Sherry and the fake Avdol were Clay dolls, and it brings to mind the Super Sentai Die Ranger. In the series, several antagonists learned through a twist that they were Clay dolls, and the true selves had died a long time ago. Moments before Sherry bit Jean Pierre, it looks like an eye formed on his skin. The evil eye in the outro springs to mind again. When the fake Sherry and Avdol bit Jean-Pierre, it made them seem like zombies. In real life, we've had a zombie-like attack. Back in 2012, there was a man known as the Miami Zombie. Before shooting him, police found the Miami Zombie biting off parts of another man's face. The real Avdol was left with a scar. In some series, there wouldn't have been a scar or the character would have completely healed. But this is effective. It shows evidence of consequences and dangers. It was a powerful moment to have Silver Chariot combined with Jean-Pierre when he stabbed the Clay Sherry. It shows he took action, removing a twisted version of his sister from his life. I also think about a movie like Old Yeller, where the protagonist's dog contracted rabies, so he himself was the one to take his dog's life. Just as it's said that Travis's decision to put down the dog himself is symbolic of his transition from being a young boy to a man, so too is Jean-Pierre accepting that his sister is truly gone. Jean-Pierre asks Avdol, did your personality change? It's not because you were shot in the head, is it? This brings to mind something about near-death experiences. Regardless of their cause, NDEs can permanently and dramatically alter the individual experiencer's attitudes, beliefs, and values. The submarine has for you written on it. It could be a play on the phrasing used throughout these last two episodes, hail to you. It could also mean submarine for you. And we also have to keep in mind there's a German submarine, U-4. The best thing about art is that it's subjective. Everyone has their own interpretation. Was your interpretation different than mine? Do you have any insights that you want to add about this episode? Leave your comments, like, share. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Take it easy.